Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne team up with the creator of Neighbors once again for the latest Apple TV Plus series, Platonic, so see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Apple TV+. Plus. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Platonic former best friends approaching midlife reconnect after a long rift. The duo's friendship becomes more consuming and destabilizes their lives. So this is created by Nicholas Stoller who worked on Neighbors and Neighbors 2, which also did star Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen. So it is a reunion. Apple TV Plus content, come on guys. Apple TV Plus has some of the best content uh, this year. And Platonic is another show that shows that this streaming service is really good. Uh, people really sleep on Apple TV Plus. I don't feel like it's as talked about when it comes to some of the original content, unless it is Ted Lasso. But Platonic, I loved it. I had a huge smile on my face from beginning to end throughout these, I think 10 episodes. And we see uh, these best friends that they were best friends uh, in the beginning. Uh, they had this rift. Uh, Rose Byrne didn't think that the person that Seth Rogen was going to marry was right for him. And now he's getting divorced. So she was kind of right. But that led to them falling out. And now they are becoming friends again. You do feel in that the beginning of the series that they had a strong relationship. Uh, and it is a bit awkward. It aren't just happy once again. Take some time to get us back to where they were. Uh, so in the beginning, it's really awkward and uh, you just get that sense that they were really good friends and they haven't uh, fixed their problems with each other. But once they spend more time with each other, you see that genuine connection that Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen have and a very solid relationship. And at times it makes uh, Rose Byrne's husband jealous within the show, Luke McFarlane, who was in Bros previously last year. I really liked him in here, but it makes some of the uh, other uh, characters in the series a bit jealous because they do have a very strong relationship. They are going out drinking, they're doing drugs, and so they're spending a lot of time with each other. And they're, we're slowly building up that friendship again, and you just feel that connection. It's very genuine and realistic as well. I love that it's just a platonic friendship, and you don't ever feel like they could be in love. It's not gonna go that route in the series. It's just focused on them as friends, and I love that. But when we dig deeper into the show and this relationship, there is more mature themes throughout, and a lot of uh, touching moments as we look at uh, these uh, characters that are in their midlife, and uh, they want to kind of live their days like they were younger. And so uh, characters like Rose, Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen's character, they are constantly going out drinking. They do drugs a couple of times. And so they're trying to relive their past. And uh, there's a certain moment in the series where they really start to peel back these characters and feel like you know they were fun at one point and they lost all of that. And uh, it's quite emotional for them to kind of express all of that and reveal all of it so when we get the characters established in the beginning we have some fun moments we kind of peel back everything and look deeper into these characters and why are they acting the way they are and it does lead to some emotional moments and thinking about my own life as too when i you know i was younger and i had a lot of fun too and it's you know it's easy to think about those days they express a, that is handled a lot throughout the middle half of the series and i wasn't expecting all of that because i got a lot of fun moments and they're going on these adventures they're just exploring the friendship but then it just gets a little bit deeper and a little bit depressing as well and so uh, it becomes a very strong emotional look at friendship and being adults and having and holding on to like your past and all that fun that you had and you could still have fun as an adult but in a different way we have a lot of minor characters. Seth Rogen starts to date someone new, and we have Rose Byrne's character, who's married to Luke McFarlane in the show, and uh, they approach certain storylines, but they don't really follow through with some of them, as they aren't as uh, solid or uh, as developed as other storylines. When I look at I like the relationship between uh, Rose Byrne and Luke McFarlane in the series, there's a point where he gets jealous of everything. I feel like he's left out and wants to uh, be part of this group. And that's really solid for a few episodes, but then it just kind of 
falls apart. Like they don't really revisit it. And that's many times throughout the series. If it's uh, the characters or uh, what characters are feeling and what they're going through in certain relationships, uh, it's really strong when it's there. But when we move on from it, it's forgotten quite easily. And I think they really could have uh, strengthened uh, some of these characters, given some more depth when you had certain storylines that were continuing throughout. But Platonic, I loved all of the characters and the moments of Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen having a lot of fun together because it does feel very genuine. I think part of it's due to that they worked on Neighbors and Neighbors 2 together, so they've worked with each other before, so you feel like that genuine connection that they have. And they have a lot of fun, especially in the beginning when they are trying to you know, go on these uh, fun dates together and they just want to enjoy themselves, but then we kind of have them argue, we have them argue again and appeal back what the characters are feeling. That's when it becomes deeper. But I like the, that balance of the fun comedy aspect to it, but also the, the deeper moments of uh, you, uh, characters being out of work for so many years, or you feel like uh, you won't have a solid relationship after you got divorced. And uh, coming to a realization of everything is where the series really does work and really surprised me because I thought, okay, Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne, Nicholas Stoller, once again, it's gonna be a fun series, but then you just get deeper into the show, deeper into the characters, and that's where like the emotion comes out and you start to kind of reflect on your own life as well. So I really was impressed with Platonic. It was a show that I didn't want to end. I was immediately hooked with the show. It was easy to binge through. 10 episodes, about 30-ish minutes long, so it doesn't take that long to get through, but I wanted it to continue. I wanted to see more of these characters. They were very likable. You felt that connection. The side characters were a lot of fun. It had a really uh, personal story that was also relatable. So if you have Apple TV Plus and you got a few hours, check out Platonic. If you like Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen and Neighbors, I highly recommend checking this series out because it is worth your time. So before I give you my score for Platonic on Apple TV+, Plus, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit the subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Platonic an A-. minus. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Platonic, the new Apple TV Plus series starring Rose Byrne and Seth Rogen. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.